And so she had to go off into the back and do her thing for two hours. And I had just brought the kids home, and it was just me. And let me tell you something. It reframed the word chaos for me. Because when you have it, every single one of my kids needed something constantly the entire time. Well, because they were hungry. It was late, and they were starving, and... Uh, I decided to go forward with this meal plan that we had that took forever, and it was chaos. Uh, so I got them in, and uh, Noah was screaming. I was trying to make dinner. Hannah and Brielle were not happy, and it was like popcorn scream. Just constantly, someone was screaming. And uh, Suzanne, later to find out, she was just a mess listening to all of us. Like, I don't want to go out and help so bad. <laughs> and I was out there just ticking away, just trying to press down the pain. You know, just keep moving forward. Just keep it going. And, um, I mean, it was, it, was, it was about an hour and a half of constant nonsense. Just, I don't blame them because it was late. It was my fault for getting home late. Um, and it was, uh, I mean, it was a wild, wild night. And she got out of her meeting after, I think I had the kids in bed finally. Because it was nine. And she's like, how are you? <laughs> like genuinely cared about me because she could hear the screaming for an hour and a half of, of just constantness. Um, I said, I think I'm going to be okay. You know? But it was just chaos. It was nonsense. It was just wild and insane. And um, I was exhausted after that. And we finally got the kitchen dining room table cleaned up and the kitchen cleaned up. And by the time I, I was vacuuming the carpet, I think it was like 10 p.m., vacuuming up just the debris of the evening like shards of, of food were spewing, you know, strewn about it was just and I was so tired I remember like I was like this why am I awake why am I here right now I'm going to go to bed so bad and I was complaining and I was mad I wasn't really mad I was just tired I was just exhausted just dumb this is dumb like, why am I... And we've got uh, a, a fairly large amount of carpet in our house. If you've ever been there, white carpet. So it's just constant. Just, I was tired. I was just vacuuming. And then, um, then, it, then it hit me. And I had a change of thought and a change of mind that totally changed my attitude. And uh, this, is, this, is, this is where it's really important to, to remember that when you change what's going on up here... It changes your whole life. Um, it's a vacuum and just, just get upset. And I thought, you know what? And this must have been God speaking to me. You know, you'd miss this if your kids were suddenly gone. I was like, oh. Like, the reason I'm vacuuming is because I have kids that I love. Yeah? And so I began, God began to give me some meaning in my mess. Right? And so I was vacuuming, and, and uh, I got emotional. I'm getting emotional now just thinking about it. Just thinking about my kids gone. I'd miss them so bad. Like, my floor could be perfectly spotless clean, but if my kids were gone, I wouldn't care. You know, I would rather be up at midnight vacuuming my messy carpet because I'd finally realized I've got some meaning in my mess. I wonder if some of you are complaining and grumbling about things that are a mess in your life. That if you really think about it, and if you pray, God can give you some meaning in your mess too. 